I've printed a lot of stuff over the past three years. Was any of this useful? Decide for yourself. One of the first projects is this ebook bumper case. I didn't consider that there must be a bit of space between the device and the case, and also overestimated the plastic flexibility. As a result, the case broke when I was trying to fit the device into it. I later printed a working version, but then sold the ebook itself. This is a basic lamp holder. It looked funny, so I designed a less funny second version. I also designed a third version that never got printed. It all ended up being replaced with standard IKEA lamps, though. An arm for the automatic trash can that was working for quite some time. A hex socket. It did a job and then broke. If I would have printed it with the correct layer orientation, it probably would be still working. A key for a kid's helmet. Original one was lost. This one is working great till this day. A hanging hook that is supposed to be attached to the wall with a double-sided tape. They kept falling off after a few days because I neglected to clean the surface properly before attaching them. I later printed a more reliable version of this. A vacuum hose adapter for a jigsaw, still in use. Wall hooks for laptops, still useful. Various brackets for power adapters. Holding bracket for a hard drive. A set of connectors that, given a large number of old IKEA hex keys, can be assembled into a phone holder that can be used for recording another phone screen. Here's a felt version of the same concept. Obviously, this would be super easy to make from plywood, but when all you have is a 3D printer, you come up with stuff like this. A limit hook for an European window. I never installed it because I didn't want to make holes in my windows. An umbrella holder. My daughter was fascinated with umbrellas at some point. A little wall hook. A cable holder. I designed it too tight so I couldn't reliably fit the cable inside. A Batman logo that shows at night when the dinner table light is on. Batman never showed up, so not super useful. A little cone for placing very small pills into a small bottle. Was used once. Towel hooks still hanging in the bathroom. A rotary painting platform. Rarely in use, but still working. Additional hooks for the pegboard. One of them broke, but most still holding. Adapter for mounting ceiling lamps. Super convenient, saved me from drilling a ton of holes. I printed quite a few of those. Custom bend of the ventilation pipe for the soldering iron fume extraction system. There's an entire video on this project on my channel. A key holder for my daughter to allow her to open the door that is too tight. Didn't end up opening the door. She bent the key instead. A door opener and a Wi-Fi key for the front door. This was working awesome until the plastic gears inside wore off after 20 openings or so. To open the door she had to come to the window and hold the button until the LED flashes. A case for a USB camera that I mounted on top of the front door. I later realized that webcams don't work well at night and bought a normal security camera. A piece of plastic that gives shape to the silicone tube of a plant watering device. The device was still working last time I was in the office. Case for a Wi-Fi receiver that sends 433 MHz signals from window and door sensors over to the server. The whole system wasn't reliable for some reason and would drop signals, for example, door being closed. I disconnected all of the receivers but still have the sensors all around my house. Should probably remove them too. A little fit for a freestanding power cord drum. Those ended up spinning around on the pipe on which they were mounted. Should have mounted them with sticky tape, I guess. A stand for a scooter, still in use. A stand for Singster microphones. Adapters for IKEA bathroom organizers that didn't want to hang on their own. They would fall off after a few days. Worked amazingly well, still in use. A second version of the hook, using it every Christmas to hang stars over our windows. Cable hole cover for my desk. 
a little sign that we have in front of our door. This was spray-painted brown and sanded down. A handle for the DIY PC case. It's too feeble, but working. The case itself is mounted, so handle is not needed at the moment. The PC case itself. This one is okay. This is an unfinished design for an automatic water shut-off device. A shower head for the plant watering system. The first version looks super cool, but the second one is actually better. Safety bumpers for the dining table. Vacuum adapter for the mite or so. Hinges for the jewelry box. They work pretty good, but not perfect. Holder for the spyglass we have on top of our playground. It limits the rotation to only allow looking into the fields. The bolt terminals didn't end up being needed, it holds well by itself. Vacuum hose adapter. I suppose this one could be replaced with a 35mm hole. A drill bit alignment tool that I used for drilling into shelves for hidden mounting. A toddler's safety door lock and support. Works well, holds my weight without problems. A safety cover for the oven that is mounted with reusable tape. It worked until the kid became stronger, now she can pull it off. Bolt knobs, very convenient. A room monitoring system. First version of the door opening device. Bird carrier. Latest version of the temperature and humidity monitoring device. The data is collected online and can be used to trigger alerts, though I kind of lost interest in this project once again. A light dispersion attachment for the living room. An adapter for the Osmo action camera and Ryun gimbal. A piggy bank for my daughter. A network outlet cover. I like this version. Looks cool. Replacement wheels for the vacuum cleaner. Dust shroud for the metal benzo. Works better with the seal attachment made from a plastic pot. I finally got around to throwing some of this into the trash while making this video. Huge thanks to my 3D printer Ultimaker 2 Plus, which through all these years worked flawlessly and didn't require any maintenance whatsoever. Here are some stats, looking like it was printing for 22 days during the last 3 years. So, any of these prints useful? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time!